All right, Pixar, we'll let that one slide. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Film Review, episode number 76. And today I'm bringing you guys an early review of the new Disney Pixar film, Brave. Brave is directed by Mark Andrews, and it features the voices of Kelly MacDonald, Emma Thompson, Billy Connolly, Robbie Coltrane, and Craig Ferguson. Now, the story centers around Merida, a Scottish princess who wants to break away from her family's tradition and become an archer against the will of her mother. And out of pure frustration, Merida encounters someone in the forest that grants her a wish, and the rest of the film involves the aftermath of that encounter. Brave is the first original Pixar film since Up back in 2009, and last year's Cars 2 was a slight misstep in the otherwise stellar track record of the studio. But thankfully, they are back on track because Brave is a great film. First and foremost, the animation here is absolutely beautiful. Pixar's animation seems to improve over each film, and this film features some of the most stunning landscapes and images I've ever seen in an animated film. I mean, I was really transported back to medieval Scotland due to the impeccable detail and design. The voice acting here is also top-notch. Kelly MacDonald does a great job as Merida, bringing a lot of heart and strength to the role and making her a very likable and sympathetic character, while Emma Thompson also shines as the very stern queen. One thing I really liked about this film was its sense of surprise. I mean, the trailers for Brave are really only showing the first 20 minutes or so. I mean, something happens toward the end of the first act that I really didn't see coming, and it really propels the story forward into a very touching, funny, and sometimes scary adventure. Brave is actually very intense for a Pixar film, with its depictions of the bears in the forest being particularly frightening. I also really dug the soundtrack and the score from Patrick Doyle. It really infuses the story with a strong sense of Scotch-Irish sensibility. If I had one complaint about Brave, it's that some of the comedy here is a little too broad and slapsticky for my taste. I mean, there were one or two moments here that I felt belonged in something like Madagascar or any other DreamWorks animated film. Not that I'm knocking those films, it's just that it doesn't really fit that well within the Pixar films. But the storytelling, as always, is what really makes this film work. I mean, you can really tell that the studio put so much effort into crafting their stories, and that's why they consistently put out great films one after the other. Ultimately, I'm going to give Brave an A-. It's a return to form for the studio that's simultaneously moving, funny, and just a lot of fun. I definitely recommend you guys check this out when it hits theaters June 22nd. So that's it for this review. My next review will be up tomorrow when I review Safety Not Guaranteed, the Sundance hit starring Aubrey Plaza. And if you like this review, hit that subscribe button up there so you can get more reviews from me. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the other side.